House of Representatives committees on petroleum downstream, sustainable development goal, and national population aim to deliver democracy dividends to Nigerians by overseeing committee activities. These pledges were made at the inaugural meeting of the committees with all members in attendance at the National Assembly complex in Abuja. Plus TV, Emmanuel Hijene completes the report. Speaker, House of Representatives, Honorable Tajuddin Abbas, pledged to collaborate with the executive and align with its 10th legislative agenda. House standing committees, including the Petroleum Downstream Committee, chaired by Honorable Ikenga Ugochinuri from Imo State, has pledged to contribute to the national development of Nigeria, ensuring the interests of Nigerians are prioritized. Modern legislators perform a myriad of functions and roles we drive from their constitutional position in a democracy. We believe that democratic norms must be fully employed in protecting the interests, safety, and welfare of the people. It is therefore in its quest to execute this function that the Committee on Petroleum Resources downstream of the House of Representatives is set up to carry out the functions already stated above. I want to assure you all that this committee, under my watch, under our watch, will ensure that the right thing is done at all times. The Committee on Petroleum Resources downstream of the 10th House of Representatives is going to be a committee with the interests of the people at heart and a committee that will put the interests of the nation forward in all its consideration, especially the quest for energy security. This committee will legislate for energy security. This committee will carry out its function in all with high level of professionalism in the petroleum sector. We will focus on economic transformation, accountability, institutional reforms, and revenue recovery and generation with a specific goal of helping the federal government to recover the over 20 billion US dollars revenue from the sector that have not been remitted. The House Committee on Population, led by Honorable Jimmy Odimayo from Ondo State, pledged to ensure a smooth 2024 census for accurate data for country planning and development. During this our period that Nigeria will be counted and the number will be validated. So we have before us an onerous task, and I want cooperation from any one of us, every one of us. Um, I've interfaced with, with these two agencies in their, in their visit to my office, and I've made them to know. But with what, although they are, they are still going to be a session where they have to come before this house to come and do presentation because for some of us that are speaking against i think if if they listen and hear them you also know that that the census budget and census preparation they've gone over 80 percent so for, for you or for anyone to say that uh, that should just go by the way, it, it is highly unacceptable. Honorable Wale Raji, chairman of the Sustainable Development Goals Committee, pledges to expedite the achievement of the SDG in line with the United Nations resolution. As I did last report, we are still very far behind you know, in achieving these goals. And it, that is why it is of importance, you know, to, to us in, this, in the country that the, all the goals, if we are serious about development, must be prioritized. As we speak, we still have about 20 million children that are so, uh, of school age that are out of school. We, as legislators, we have our responsibility through legislative intervention to accelerate, you know, the attainment of this, uh, uh, of this uh, uh, set goals. 
Members agreed to support committee chairman and tend house leadership to deliver the dividends of democracy to Nigerians facing hardship due to government policies affecting economy and living conditions. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.